ಒಂದು ಪೆಟ್ಟಿನ Hello guys, Farhan Husky here. Today I'll show you how to make some really, really, really good waffles. And not the Belgian type either, the proper Norwegian waffles. And to start off, you'll need one, to do one thing first. You need to grab the pre-mixed waffle mix and throw it away because you're a good boy and don't cheat. To start off properly this time, I'm going to show you the ingredients. The ingredients are one liter of wheat flour, all-purpose wheat flour, seven deciliters of cultured milk. If you can't get this, just grab some whole milk, whole fat milk. Two and a half deciliters of plain white sugar, 200 grams of butter. You also need four eggs, one teaspoon of baking soda, and if you want, you can also add one teaspoon of cardamom. First thing you need to do is to melt the butter. So grab your pan and also grab the butter without getting too messy. I'll cheat. Now it's melting. To start making the waffle batter, you need to grab your cultured milk and add about half of it to the mixer. Wow. And also, you need to grab the flour and add about half a first. And your sugar, just pour everything in. And we need to start mixing this first. The reason you need to start mixing it first about half of it and then add more liquid is because when it's harder to mix it's getting crushed together more and you avoid lumps which is all that matters in a good waffle batter. Make the best waffles in the best process. When the when you added all the sugar, the wheat flour, and the cultured milk, it's time to add the eggs, the baking soda, and the cardamom. And you can do that while the machine is at rest, and then mix it into a smoother batter. Now you need to mix this thoroughly and then finally you'll add the butter at last. Oh dear, I'm breaking stuff in the kitchen. Did I actually burn it out? This is just my luck. I'm making waffles, having a good time, and I break the fucking machine. This last is about 15 years, and I break it. First time I do it on camera. Now what? <sighs> if technology doesn't work, some elbow grease will. It's just dead. <laughs> Seems like the gears have shattered inside or something. Okay. 
Huh? Okay. Almost done. And just give enough time. Almost the night. And just dump it in. Two time? Oh dear. It's working. I still know how to use this thing. Hmm. Okay. That's the batter all done. Now it needs to rest for about 20 minutes to half an hour. This will make it sure that all the flour is thoroughly soaked and it makes sure that all the loves are broken up and you get a smooth, nice batter. Now it's time to clean up your mess and also prep the iron, the curling rack and everything you need to cook them. Yay! All right, uh, it's been half an hour and the battery is ready. The iron is really nice and hot and the cooling rack is also ready. Also, a little notice before I start cooking. If you cook the waffles and leave them on the cooling rack and cool them completely, they get a bit crispy. Some people like that, I don't. I usually cool them down to a lukewarm temperature and then I stack them on a plate. That preserves the moisture and leaves them much more soft and nice. So let's start cooking. Let's see. That's hot. And just take a nice big scoop of waffle batter. Try to avoid spilling too much. There you go. And close it. And wait for the little light to turn green again. Rinse and repeat. Make all the waffles. Now, as your waffles are cooling down, you might start to think about how you're gonna serve them. So, I asked you guys on Twitter what you like to have on your waffles. And I got quite a few interesting replies, you might say. Some of them was expected, some of them was absolutely not. Let's have a look. guys really do have some quite interesting tastes in waffles. I mean, an honorable mention goes to the chicken and maple syrup, the sweet chili sauce, you have uh, bananas and nuts, that's okay. The butter, blueberry, whipped cream and maple syrup in that order, also quite interesting. 
I would like to thank everybody for contributing and replying to me on Twitter about this question. And it's currently 3.15 in the morning. I'm completely, completely dead. I'm going to clean up and go to bed. And thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you want to see more whenever that comes out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.